some monks were um, yellow and, 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 a, and a red. Uh, as a Buddhist, we do believe life after life. And you may have noticed some small kids, monk, wearing yellow yeah. st here. Yeah. But most of them are not wearing. The reason behind that is because, you know, if the kid is a reincarnation of someone, you know, who considered to be a very highly realized, you know, spiritual master, when they passed away, then we can search their reincarnation. So those who are born as a reincarnation of those, you know, previously high spiritual, you know, spiritualized uh, master, then they are allowed to wear the yellow one, those kids, okay? And also, when someone ordinary monk like us and going through the all the process of the monastic curriculum studies, once we completed the you know, monastic curriculum studies, and then we'd go through the, you know, board one Geshe exam. So after we get the Geshe degree, then we also can wear the yellow. Oh. Why is, is the main color red? Uh, actually, it is said that in old days, the red color yeah. is considered as the, some sort of, you know, worst color, not the best color. So why do you wear it? The monks, as I said before, not supposed to attach on beautiful colors. You see? <laughs> but at the same time, you know, it serves the purpose, you know? And it, it, you know, when we wear this robe, this, you know, cloth, the main purpose of, you know, wearing this, you know, color and cloth is actually not you know, attached to beautiful, colorful clothes. And also, and you don't have to, you know, change different, you know, clothes. And for, you know, lay people, they need to buy, you know, trouser and different color and different brand and so many things. But for us, you know, always, you know, sometimes, you know, one cloth for one year, no more, you know, changes, just wash and then wear. So simple. So it saves us, you know, it's, it gives us more, you know, it saves us lots of time. It saves our time to be engaged in other spiritual activities. So because of that, the monks are just wearing this color. But also this is, a, you know, some sort of school uniform. You know, when kids go to school, different school, they do have their own uniform. Yeah. And the monks also, you know, from different sects, different, you know, religious group, they also do have their own sort of uniform. So we as a Giluba and Buddhist, Tibetan Buddhist, actually wearing this red cloak. Yes? Does it make sense? Yes, we do. Yes, very good. <laughs> Why is still wearing the worst color in the olden days? <laughs> it, is, it is said to be the worst color. But for my personal, you know, choice, I like the right, red. Okay? So, but... The, the main reason or the purpose behind is actually not to be attached or not to be, you know, captivated by colorful things. So monks are supposed to be very serious practitioner. Something that, you know, I personally really cannot <laughs> strictly follow. <laughs> Why do you have to um, look the same? Like you all have shaved head and you all wear red. The monks need to shave their hair because you know, it, it saves time. Also, it doesn't, you know, get so much arrogance of having so much, you know, beautiful hair and, you know, in a very, you know, unique design. If you had a um, very long head, then how long would it take to organize it? I mean, you know, it, it consumes so much time, I guess, you know. If, if you have a very long hair, you need to cup it, you need to wash it in every day, and then you need to, you know, gel and put gel and whatever, you know. Uh, <laughs> different branded, you know, shampoo or whatever, you know, it, it, it will definitely take a lot of time and also you need to, you know, uh, you know, uh, design in a very particular fashion and as, you know, the, the trend moves on, then you have to catch up with that, you know, design and uh, it is very time consuming and also at the same time, it really makes you feel some sort of, you know, arrogant so in that sense. 
but you know if you know how to control your you know, emotion then it doesn't matter outside appearance the the, the key is actually inner you know inner strength and uh, these small you know outside you know the uh, activities are the minor thing okay i also do you have to, do you have to wear that thing oh this one yeah this one actually i got from uh attended a teaching by his holiness dalai lama i guess so this one's blessed by his holiness dalai lama you see yeah so wearing this i get some sort of bless and also at the same time this one reminds me what teaching i have attended and through that way i can reflect you know what i have gone through so it is a good reminder and at the same time it is blessed by such a you know great practitioner like his holiness dalam himself you see do you wear it all the time yes 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 i wear it all the time all the time until you know it drops i wear i yeah but if you're in the shower yes yes even in the shower yes you yes get yes wet, yeah yeah it gets wet but it is okay as long it doesn't break you know okay. you know i have been wearing all the time no it loses its you know color and all this you know yeah you see it's not losing its color does yeah a little bit yeah before it was bit, bit brighter and you know sh shinier but now it's a little bit you know a little bit losing its some sort of you know brightness okay okay wow you have a very good questions thank you any more question no no okay that's good <laughs>